for epicness. Absolutely cool. But this Mafex Return of the Jedi Boba Fett is definitely highly recommended. Back, obviously the belt right here on the Mafex looks a lot better. And also the strap coming up to his butt. But he's definitely getting a wedgie. <laughs> What's going on? It's Sean Solo 8, and I'm back with another Mafex action figure review. From Metacom Toys, we have Boba Fett Return of the Jedi version. It says action figure down there on the bottom. We'll also be comparing him to the new Hasbro Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, which uh, I don't even know if I should have bought this one here, to be honest, because this uh, deluxe figure over here is absolutely fantastic from Hasbro. This one is pretty simple. I thought it was going to come with more. It was such a good deal. I just had to pick it up. I got it from Japan with another figure and I bundled it together. And this one was a little over 40 bucks. As you can see in package, he only comes with one blaster, uh, three extra hands and an amazing paint job and hopefully some pretty cool articulation. On the top, it just says Star Wars. It says Star Wars and you have a picture of your figure on that side. Uh, another picture of Boba Fett. It says number 25 uh, with an authentic little sticker there so you know you're not getting jipped off. Bunch of choking hazards down there on the bottom. On the back, it does come with some pretty cool images of your action figure. Uh, a bunch of Japanese writing shows a couple of the key features on the figure. But without further ado, let's open up this Mafex Boba Fett and let's take a closer look. Boom! Return of the Jedi Mafex Metacom Toys Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi is out of his packaging. And right away you can see the paint detail. And when you hold it in your hands, it feels really, really high quality. Uh... I can't say how amazing it is. I mean, look, you get a, an amazing stand, which is super easy to assemble. You get an incredible looking figure with an amazing paint job. And the articulation on this guy is just off the hook. I don't think the flames are going to fit in the little holes that they do have in the jetpack, but we will take a closer look at that. Let's put them in just a few more poses and see how cool we can get Boba looking. And here's Boba pretty much looking down the sights of his rifle, which is pretty darn cool. So I think this is fantastic. He holds up really good, just like the Mafex Batman. I really do love these Mafex fingers, uh, figures. His hands are a little bit tough to stay in. Uh, but overall, as you can see, yeah, it looks sweet. Let's put him in a couple more poses. And I did want to show off how if you tighten up the screws on this Mafex stand, he does hang on there pretty well. As you can see, he looks absolutely epic on the flight stand. Let me just show you guys a close up so you can appreciate all the paint details. And uh, this figure is highly recommended. Yeah, a bunch of pieces do pop off quite a bit, but uh, I'm just learning Mafex. This is, I think, my second Mafex that I've actually opened. Uh, but. Yeah, as you can see, he looks absolutely awesome. Let me see if I can scoot him back and actually get him in the picture. Uh, another cool thing that I noticed is uh, the Boba Fett Deluxe Flames do actually fit inside the jetpack. So let me just pause this, stick these in, and I'll show you. So, yeah, as you can see, I just did put in the Return of the Jedi Hasbro Flame Effects in the jetpack, and they actually fit really well. You just got to poke them in and twist them a little bit. Uh, and yeah, these do articulate too. So check that out. Uh, another thing that I noticed is this flame right here can actually go into his little gauntlet too. So you just got to uh, find out which way I did it earlier. But yeah, so you check that out for epicness. Absolutely cool. But this Mafex Return of the Jedi Boba Fett is definitely highly recommended now let me go into some of the clips to where i show you where the hands fall off and his leg pops off and arm pops off but overall fantastic figure highly recommended and if you're still here kindly throw a thumbs up on the video guys i would definitely appreciate it it would help the channel grow i don't say it enough but let me get into the rest of this review 
Now, one of the biggest bummers for me is when I was trying to remove his hands, this peg came out. It looks like it just pegs right in. And I've been trying now for about five minutes to get this back in his hand. Yeah, just be very careful with these, which you really shouldn't be. And it shouldn't be so small because imagine losing this little peg. Devastated you would be, especially seeing as this is a reissue. Hey, I'm back and fantastic. It actually did pop on really well. I just had to get some tweezers and basically get it in there and pop it on. And so I do recommend you be very careful. And at the same time uh, I was doing that, his arm actually popped off too, which that doesn't look so bad, but you can see the mechanics in there uh, to give you, bless ya. And then you can see, uh, let's try to put this back on. because I was trying to put him in uh, a cool pose. And what I'd recommend is actually uh, putting his hand on the gun first. We're going to go ahead and use this hand and we're going to go ahead and stick it on. And there you have it. And while you're here, let's get a close up of that gun. You can see the paint apps and detail look absolutely fantastic. So they did a good job. And there's a little hole on the end. So if you do have some type of effects, you can put that on there. But let's see if that worked good. Yeah, so I actually did fix my Boba Fett, which is great. But I was going to have them uh, popping up and doing a little missile shot and looking down like so. Let's go ahead and get that in focus for you guys. And uh, yeah, there you go. Let me just do a close-up on this guy so you guys can see the epic paint details on this guy. And I'm up next to the Black Series Boba Fett. Let me just back those guys up a little bit so you can see them. But as you can see, yeah, they look really good. This one's obviously much lighter. Um, <laughs> highly recommended the Black Series. I do have a video, which is actually pretty, let me tilt that camera a little bit, popular on my channel. So if you wanna check that out, uh, feel free to do so. But Boba Fett does come with two pretty cool fists with another open hand, which does come with another little peg that you can, oops, put it on display. You gotta be really careful for these pieces. Uh, but let's just pull these guys both up together and let me get their chest plates up here so you guys can see. Uh, but when it comes to the chest plates, I do like the Hasbro version, you can see obviously right here on the Mafex, there's a little bit less paintwork on it. And the dents is more defined on the Hasbro too. So they really did knock that out of the park. I know this is softer plastic on the Hasbro. Uh, as for the helmet, you can see the dust on mine. The helmets. Uh, and also, you know, let me know in the comments below which one you guys think is better. I do like the gloss on the visor on the Black Series, but I do like how the Mafex helmet is a little bit bigger, and the wider it is right here, it actually does look a little bit more like Return of the Jedi. The top of the helmets are completely different. Yeah, please forgive my dust, because Boba's just hanging out on display all the time. They both have visors that slide down. Now, the jetpacks, oh boy, where is Boba's jetpack? You gotta be kidding me. Let me see if I have it laying around. Oh, and I do. Oh, let me just get this jetpack off of here. Uh, here's the Black Series jetpack versus the Mafex. And I would say the winner on this one clearly goes to the Mafex because there's, uh, you can see on the little part where the flame comes out, but there's a little black piece on here, which is nice. And then of course, these pieces up here are silver. Now, does it come off just as easy? Oh, and look at those awesome like brown straps in the back. That's a really nice touch too. Now the Wookiee braids obviously look better on the Mafex and sort of the wires. And I would say, let's go ahead and get Boba's hand off of here. Uh, let's look at the gauntlets. I would say the gauntlets is another clear win uh, to the Mafex, which is crazy. Uh, but again, you know, no dog and Hasbro here. They went all out on this deluxe Boba Fett. And if you can get your hands on one, I would highly recommend it. They both have a pretty nice cape. Uh, I would think I'd probably give that to the Black Series as well. Uh, the back, obviously the belt right here on the Mafex looks a lot better. 
and also the strap coming up to his butt, but he's definitely getting a wedgie on the Mafex. And then another nice one is, uh, I don't know if this Boba has a drop down leg. No, it doesn't. But uh, this Boba has a really nice drop down ooh, leg, as you can see. Uh, <laughs> everything pops off this guy. You do have to be a little careful with him. But the poses you can get this guy in are just really, really sick. I do love how far Boba looks down and he looks up really well too. This missile, I'm not sure if that comes off. I don't think it does come off. Uh, let me know in the comments below if I'm wrong, but that looks pretty glued in there pretty tight. Oh no, something else came off. Oh, his hand again. Yeah, you just got, guys just have to be really careful on these. Uh, his arms pop up about that high and I do like the shoulder pads actually. I would say they're better on the Mafex version and it almost has that Kenner color to it. Uh, yeah, the hands just pop off, you guys. This is an older Mafex figure, so you do gotta give them some credit. I think it was, what, number 25 on the box? Yeah, Mafex number 25. Uh, there is a nice swivel up in the shoulder and his arm pops up about that high. Here he does have a pretty nice swivel in there, some bend side to sides. That belt looks just sweet, doesn't it? Let's check it out compared to the Black Series. Now, the Black Series has a little bit of a better wash on that, and I do like the red rope versus the brown rope. These side pockets on Mafex actually definitely uh, go for the win, but they are bigger, that's for sure. The leg pouches on the Mafex are actually smaller, and the detail uh they both look really great on hasbro and mafex for on the knees now the shins they did uh actually give us some good paint on the hasbro version but the mafex actually looks like they are removable which is really cool and the cod piece has a nice dent on the mafex version also but what do you guys think let me just show you uh the boba fett feet on both versions really quick but you can see yeah they both look really good on both figures. Uh, I'm kind of surprised why the toe doesn't want to pop up, but it does articulate down, which is kind of weird. And then there's the bottom of the Mafex feet. He does have a nice tilt in there, and I guess this piece uh, spins around loosely on the top too. He does have a nice double jointed knee, which kicks up really well, kicks back really far, kicks forward really well too. Oh, but yeah, like I was saying, you just gotta be extra careful uh, with your figures. Don't be rough like me. For a few more height comparisons, I did want to do this video a little bit of justice. Uh, so let's just stand Boba up and make him look a little bit cool. Because I'm sure everybody is wondering how he looks stacked up to other figures. So for fun, we're going to go ahead and put the Hasbro Beskar Mandalorian. Looks really cool. Of course, uh, it wouldn't be complete without standing him next to the new Darth Vader. So that is going to fit in really, really good with your Hasbro collection, that's for sure. Let's just move Mando. Here is a recently reviewed on the channel Republic Security Droid. Looks really cool. And here he is next to the... Boba Fett. Oh man, he looks really bad right there, doesn't he? But yeah, uh, that's actually a really good figure. It's just his head looks really bad right there. And for one more, let's go ahead and put the Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett there. But yeah, as you can see, they did a fantastic job on this, especially for the price point. Uh, again, I just got to get used to the pieces, you know, coming off. If you pull too hard, like the arm pops off. Uh, but I have to pull really tight that time. Uh, the drop down legs, you know, they do pop off too. But it's just uh, getting used to it. Again, this is an older model. I know when I did the Batman review, I didn't really run into those problems. But thanks for checking out today's video. Check out one of these videos up on the screen, and I will see you guys in the next video.